everyone and welcome back to my channel. I recently took a trip to the dollar store and I hadn't been there for a couple of months and I kind of wanted, wanted to see what was new. Um, I like to go to the dollar store just to pick up, um, they have some unique items as you've probably seen on a lot of videos, people show what they got. I like to go there for um, things like packaging, um, sometimes I find doilies there, things I can put in, in junk journals. Um, also crafting items like stickers, uh, every once in a while, stamps. Um, they have a pretty big crafting section. Um, depending on the dollar the dollar store, um, the one I go to has has quite a bit. Um, there's they're different places have different sizes of um, sections in their departments, but um, but this one uh, when I went. Uh, the other day this had quite a bit so I wanted to kind of show you what I picked up so maybe you can get some ideas on um, what you could use these things for a dollar 25 for each of these things is I don't think a bad price <laughs> and you get um, you know they, they offer quite a bit so um, let me go ahead and show you what I got in the, I went in the um, I guess it would be kind of the wedding birthday party section so that where they kind of have a lot of the treat bags and things like that so I like to go there I, I always go up and down the aisle every aisle but um, I really like this section because I find a lot for packaging um, for my Etsy shop um, I always like to um, provide a little bit of fun packaging with the item that somebody buys because I feel like you can also use the packaging for your for your projects as well so so I found some really cute things so this first um thing was 14 treat bags and they're just these um the this polka dot pattern that I just thought was fun I like the color combination and I haven't taken them taken them out of the bag yet but they're kind of a just a thin paper and um they just open up like that um these are great for greeting cards um, packaging up greeting cards, um, any kind of little ephemera. Um, you could definitely kind of tuck it. You could adhere it into a journal, journaling page, have it stick out like this, and then put all kinds of ephemera in the pockets. Um, so just, I love the color combinations. They had um, a bunch of different ones, and I, I like this one the best um, with the polka dots. Um, another treat bag I got was, oh, actually, let me show you this one. This is a rainbow one, same type of bag as the other one with just kind of the rainbow um, pattern on it. So I thought those colors were really pretty too. Um, this bag is one that has kind of a, a base to it. Um, the yellow stripes are what I really liked. I just thought these were so sunny and cheerful and I like the little um, the little edge, edging up at the top here. And they're pretty big. Again, you could use them um, you know, add them as a signature page for your uh, journal. It's got the seam right here, so you could actually, um, you know, sew it in right here. Um, use this as kind of a platform to, to adhere something else. And then you've got the little pocket here. Um, so it could kind of fold like a page like this. Or, you know, again, use it for packaging for if you have an Etsy shop or something like that. Um, but just the, the lemon yellow is so pretty. So I like that. And then I got three of the packages of these organza bags. And I liked these because, here, let me open this one, show you for an example. I like the little stars on them. They kind of have a retro look and I like those kind of retro starburst uh, patterns. Um, these I thought would be good for packaging up journal charms, um, you know, beaded charms, things like that. Um, and, and again, small ephemera too, but it's always nice. You know, you have a little inexpensive little bag that you can, uh, add to your packaging. It's something that the person who purchases from you can also use as well. Okay. And then the other thing I got, and this is kind of like the baby section. I thought these were really cute. These little, um, baby shower favors. They had all different ones. I just like the little baby buggies and I'll open these and kind of show you, I'll show you the neat green one. So they're two-sided, so they're not hollow on the other side or anything. And how cute would that be for a little charm? I just thought, like, it's just so cute. And the, the colors are so pretty. Um, I can't remember what they had. I think they had blocks, but they were like flat blocks. They weren't um, three-dimensional, so I didn't pick those up. But they were cute. I was kind of debating, but I just I thought I'd just get these and try these. Because um, you got quite a bit in the package. And I love all the colors 
the color combinations in here too. I thought those were pretty. So that's everything from kind of the, the uh, birthday treat bag party section. Then I headed over to the crafting section and they had, this was actually in an end cap, they had this Crafter Square stencil wheel and they had a bunch of different stencil wheels. I liked this one because it was hearts and I like the size of them. I thought these with, with my new kind of journaling endeavor, <laughs> trying to, trying to like expand my journaling a little bit to do some art journaling. I thought this would be perfect to fit on a journaling page so you could stencil and then I could kind of go over it with um, maybe some collage elements um, or do the collage elements and go over it with a stencil, you know, either way. But I liked, I like this heart the best because it's kind of got that rainbow kind of 60s look to it, 60s, 70s look. Um, but they had some ones with, I think, words on them too, and maybe some floral ones, but I just, I picked this one up to try. I, I like this one the best. So I thought that would be fun to try. Um, then I went over into the sticker section and they had a ton of stickers. A lot of them I had already had picked up a while ago, um, but they had one of these, um, just kind of some flowers with a little pearl in the middle. Again, these would be great for, you know, you could spray them with a color spray, um, leave them the way they are. You could stamp over them um, to get, you know, like with some words on the petals. That would be pretty. Um, you know, again, just thinking kind of about, you know, uh, little elements I could add to my journaling. I already have a couple of these, but I love these flowers. They're kind of three-dimensional um, sort of vellum flowers, but the colors are so pretty. So I just, they had one of these, so I just picked up this one. And then I saw these on uh, the end of an aisle too. These are, this is, the, I got two of the same. Um, just kind of some vintage um, stickers that again, I thought would be fun to kind of um, maybe mix in with my House of Books um, uh, vintage box and kind of see um, how those mix together um, to do, do some collage. And then over in, this was actually in the school section, um, kind of the back to school, like where you could decorate your locker and that kind of thing. Um, they had these paper clips, which I thought were so cute with this little strawberry and the flower and the rainbow and the little peach. Um, I just thought those were really cute. So I got two of those. Um, I thought they'd be good like page markers for a journal. Um, lots of uses for these, actually I got three. And then they have um, these sticky notes, which, I couldn't open them there. Sometimes these kind of novelty sticky notes, they don't stick as well as like the post-it notes. Um, but again, they'd be cute for like a journal page. So um, yeah, the stickiness is pretty light on them. So I, I don't know if I'd trust them to stick to something, but they'd be perfect just for, you know, just to kind of put, um, you know, as part of a collage page or just add to a cute little, add a little note you know, in your shop, you know, thank you for purchasing. And yeah, I don't know. They're just cheerful little, I love anything cheerful that you can write a note on. So, so I thought these were cute. And then the last thing I found, it was kind of interesting. They have a section where it's um, wallpaper squares. So kind of self stick wallpaper. So if you want to change, a, you know, maybe a wall in your room, you can, it's like peel and stick wallpaper, but they also had kind of peel and stick tiles for your kitchen so like a backsplash or something like that and I saw these and I was thinking I would use these for I have a utensil canister I have I had bought just a big white um, ceramic uh, canister to put like spatulas and spoons and things like that that I that I grab for when I'm cooking and I had had a decal on the, the front of it that I had decorated with that was kind of it was like a rooster it was sort of I mean it, for a long time ago it was kind of in style but I thought I wanted to change it a little bit and I've never found um, another canister that I really liked because this one is nice and big and then I saw these decals and I thought this might be fun to maybe make a band of just this blue and white along um, the middle of the canister. Um, these are separate, so these are like little squares. So I thought I could make like a pattern and just make kind of a circle. I got two of these to try it out and they're removable. So I think if I make a mistake, I can <laughs> rearrange. But in the picture here, somebody uses it for a backsplash in their kitchen, which I don't know if I trust myself to do that, <laughs> that the right way, but that looks pretty good. 
So, um, but I love this, the blue and white color. I just thought this would be fun. So I'm going to, I'm going to experiment with my big canister and hopefully I can get a nice little pattern that I like. So, so that's everything from Dollar Tree. Um, I, this I got like a few days ago, so um, I'm sure some, a lot of the stuff is still there. Um, like I said, I love to go, I usually go like every two or three months just to kind of see um, if there's anything new. And I always, I always end up finding some cute things. So, so it's always fun to kind of, you know, think out of the box when you're um, going there and think of what you could use, go in, go down every aisle. And um, I mean, even like the, the, the bathroom aisle, like with the little toiletries and things like that, there's always, there might be something decorative there that you could use um, for your journals or even card making or, or another, another project. So, um, so it's definitely a fun place to visit. So let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in my next video.